Hi everyone, Pastor Brian here and wanted to just uh, give an update on the coronavirus and our response to that as a church. Um, I think most of you have probably been uh, keeping updated on it. The president just gave an update and declared uh, a national emergency. And although the numbers are still relatively small uh, worldwide, uh, the problem is the spread. And so we want to be responsible to do everything we can to keep that number from growing. And so based upon that, uh, we've decided that we're going to go to an online platform for our services beginning this weekend and running through the rest of the month. Now, that's a really huge thing uh, for us to do. We're not doing it out of fear. Uh, we're completely trusting the Lord. But we do care about you, and we care especially about the older people in our congregation, and, and we don't want to risk uh, infection. That's basically what's happening. So, so we've made this decision after a lot of thought, after a lot of prayer, after a lot of research, that for us here at Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa and for everybody's well-being, uh, that this would be the best way to go forward over uh, the next few weeks. And as we get through the month of March, we'll reevaluate. And obviously, we want to have our normal services resume as soon as we possibly can. But in, in light of the governor's request for no meetings over 250 people, and again, the desire, as they're saying, to flatten out the curve so we don't have a spike in uh, numbers of infected people, uh, we think that this is the way to go about it. Uh, we're trusting the Lord. We know the Lord is with us. God's not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, and we're not reacting in fear in any way. Uh, I think that this is the responsible thing to do, and I think it's the thing the Lord would have us to do. We're putting uh, the welfare of other people first, and of course, we know that that's what Jesus is all about. He put uh, our welfare before His. So, so that's the plan for uh, Calvary Chapel, Costa Mesa, beginning this weekend, Sunday, uh, the 15th of March, and running through uh, the remainder of the month. So I want to give you a bit of an overview for what church at Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa will look like um, from March 15th through March 29th. So as was already mentioned, um, Sundays we will not be meeting congregationally. There will be uh, nobody meeting on the campus uh, Sunday morning or Sunday evening, but we will be doing uh, online church. And so with that, uh, we've got a few things. First of all, we've arranged for our children's ministry materials to go up on the website so you parents at home you can actually uh, get those lessons that the kids would be having in class you can get them and you can do them uh, with your children at home uh, we're also working together with our youth ministry with our junior high and high school and they're going to be putting together um, a few discussion points based on the sermon and encouraging um, their groups to watch the sermon online and then to discuss it together. And they'll be talking about different ways that they can plan to meet. Of course, uh, the, um, the real vulnerable group of people is, is the, those that are older and the younger people are really not much at risk. So we're not going to be too... Uh, rigid about um, younger people meeting. As a matter of fact, we want to still encourage people to meet uh, in homes as well. Maybe you're part of a community group, and maybe as a community group, you would just decide we're going to have our community group on Sunday morning. We're going to meet together. We're going to watch the service online and spend some time together. We we totally encourage that. We think that that would be a great opportunity there. Um, also, we're going to have our pastoral team and others available during the live stream uh, for online interaction. So chat room, if you've got questions, if you need prayer, as we give an invitation perhaps, we're going to have an opportunity for you to uh, connect with us on that. So as most of you would probably recognize, these, these are really unprecedented 
events and times. Uh, never in my lifetime in ministry have we ever had anything like this. So uh, we need to find a way to continue uh, being the church that we're supposed to be at this time. And so in order to do that, there are just a few things that we are encouraging. Uh, as I already mentioned, we're encouraging people to gather together um, in homes and to watch the service. Um, we are also encouraging people because the elderly and uh, vulnerable are at risk uh, to reach out to family and friends and neighbors around you. If if you have elderly, of course, family members or, or neighbors or friends, uh, this is a great opportunity for us as the church. You know, maybe they uh, would need a meal. Maybe they would need uh, you to go to the market and pick up uh, some items or something like that. I think this is a great time for us to to just be able to reach out in those kinds of ways. Um, if you know of elderly or vulnerable people who are part of our congregation, um, well, again, we want to encourage you to initially reach out, but uh, let us know as well if you think that there's a need that goes beyond what you're able to do, and we want to engage um, from, from the level of the church administration and so forth. So feel free to reach out to us uh, on that you can give us a call and uh, we we're here to help so so to be clear uh, no Sunday services uh, f for the remainder of March and that includes uh, the Sunday evening gatherings as well so we just started the meeting place encourage those of you that are looking to pray together maybe this is an opportunity to just break up and to get in some into some homes and uh, to do that but remember also we're still going to be gathering online the one service that we will actually continue to do is the midweek service so we're going to be open and uh, we're going to be teaching on wednesday night and the reason we decided to keep the church open on wednesday night is because our numbers are below uh, what the governor has requested. So they've requested that no gatherings over 250 uh, people come together. Our numbers are, I'm sure, going to be uh, below that. And they also are concerned about having space. So we've got plenty of space in the sanctuary. Even if we had 250 people, we would have plenty of space to where we're not going to be in danger of infection. So we've decided to continue our midweek, at least for the time being. Uh, if anything changes, we'll let you know. Uh, but um, Wednesday evening, uh, we will be gathering to continue our through the Bible study in the main sanctuary. But apart from that, uh, everything else will be closed. Um, all the services will be closed down uh, during the week. On that night, the youth ministries will meet, the junior high and the high school. So anyway, um, this is our update uh, for the weekend of March 15th. This is in relation to the coronavirus and the things that are happening. We are praying, trusting the Lord that uh, this is not going to become an extreme situation and we're seeking to do the little bit that we can do to try to help prevent it from becoming that by taking these measures that have been recommended by um, the CDC, by the health organizations, and by uh, both our federal and state governments. So let's be trusting the Lord. Let's keep praying. Let's keep gathering together in the right context that we can do it as a body. And God's going to bring us through all this, I'm confident. So uh, see you uh, online um, this Sunday for our message.